the latest now in the battle against Zika. Scientists hoping to use a new weapon, genetically modified mosquitoes, to target insects that could spread the virus. But that plan is raising concerns in the neighborhood where they may be tested. And ABC Steve Osinsami is on the scene in Key West, Florida. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, George. They're hot about this here. The families understand the effort to fight Zika and other mosquito-borne diseases, but they're dead set against using this neighborhood and their children in an experiment with genetically modified bugs. Just outside of Key West, families are angry this morning at the CDC, the FDA, and the British company that hopes to release millions of genetically altered male mosquitoes in their backyards. We don't want to be lab rats. The bugs would be bred in this Florida lab and are designed to kill off the mosquito that carries the Zika virus, dengue fever, and other harmful diseases. Even the government admits this is a test. The genetically modified male mates with the wild female and the offspring does not develop into an adult. It dies before adulthood. But the families say there's no plan if something goes wrong and if diseases start to spread. Online, their petition has more than 166,000 signatures. They're trying to jam this down our throat without our consent, and that is just not right. The scientists behind this say it's already working in other countries. I don't think people should be afraid of it. If anything, they should be, um, should be more worried about things like dengue, Zika, and chikungunya. Our doctor, Rich Besser, visited a lab in Brazil where they're saying the targeted mosquito population has been reduced. In two to four days after we release it, it will be dead. Two and to four days. Yeah, exactly. There's a similar battle of the minds in Washington, where a fight over funding Zika control efforts continues. The White House wants nearly $1.9 billion to fight the disease. County officials have agreed to a vote in the fall, but they're already saying that it will be non-binding. So the neighbors here are planning to sue. They're asking their many supporters this morning to approach the FDA online, send messages, and they're warning that your neighborhood could be next. Robin. All right, Steve, thank you. Joining us now, ABC News Chief Health and Medical Editor, Dr. Richard Besser. A lot of people yeah. concerned about that. Of course, there in Key West, I was just there a few weeks vacationing. Great people that are there and can understand their concerns. And, and how, how safe are these types of mosquitoes? Yeah, so before they could be tested in Florida, the FDA had to evaluate them. They looked at data from all of the places they've been tested, and they ruled that they're safe for the environment and for people safe for the people and for the environment. So how effective are they against these disease spreading mosquitoes? Yeah, you know, I saw this taking place in Brazil mm -hmm. and what they've seen every place that this has been introduced is that these type of mosquitoes reduction of up to 90 percent and that's just dramatic 90 percent fewer of these mosquitoes. And what are the concerns about another type of mosquito being able to spread disease? Yeah you know whenever people hear the word GMO they're, right. they're very frightened um, but this hasn't been Seen in other places, they haven't seen other disease-carrying mosquitoes come come up, and the diseases that they're trying to fight by doing this are really, really bad actors, and so it's leading to new strategies that other times we might not have considered. Overall, what do you say to people that are there in Key West and other areas where this may? Ha be happening. How do you uh, align their, their concerns and yeah. fears? Go slow, be safe, but we need to try new things. All right, all right. 